was somewhat aware of everything going on with the movie, and I knew about the books. I didn't read them yet, but um, I heard Jen Lawrence got cast in her next movie, and it was going to be this one. So my team of agents and managers, they told me that it looks like you're going to be in the Hunger Games. And so I got very excited about it. What Apparently what had happened is Deb Zane, uh, the casting director, showed a tape to Gary Ross, and Gary thought that, uh, that, that I would be perfect for Seneca, and I hope that he was right. <laughs> I remember once I had read the role and read the books, which I did right away, I immediately was like, this is this is reality TV. I mean, this is real." And I, t and I turned it on my, with, and watched it with my wife a few shows, and um, I'm just watching them. And I, th I was trying to picture them and take them and put them in the future, but that, the more I watched them and the more of them that I watched, I realized that, oh man, this is, this is right now. Yeah. This is right now, um, because I don't know any reality TV show producers. I don't definitely didn't base it on any particular person. I based it off the idea of their work, what they're working, and and the and the product they're putting out. I could I could judge off of that. And what I was seeing was they were just trying to like get deep into your psyche and 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 put themselves there and like dig in deep, even if you don't want to see it, and um, and sacrifice as much as they like sacrifice whatever they had to. I should say just for the result, which was attention. And what we sacrificed our, our intelligence and our pride and and our we're, we're sacrificing our future. So in a sense, that's the same as the Hunger Games because in a sense, you know, we're giving up our future for a bit of entertainment. The scope of the film is so big. And, it, you know, something even bigger than anything Gary's done before. Yeah. What did he, when you guys first started to talk about the film, what was his sort of vision for what he was going to try to do and at what point did you sort of know, oh yeah, this is this is coming together, this is working? You know, it was interesting because I flew in and uh, Gary and I hadn't spoken yet specifically about the character yet and uh, um, I was a little bit nervous because I, Seneca's not on the page in the book, you know, he's he's referenced later but not described and I um, I thought, what am I going to do with this? Like, what what direction are we wanting to go? I had, I had some ideas and... Um, I got there and Gary just like popped as soon as he saw me, bang, 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 bang. Young guy, oh, successful, very young, arrogant about it. I see him, you know, I see him as um as a complete contrast to President Snow. Um, let's go with that. And I thought that's perfect. That's so perfect. It was a really clear idea, and it also it kind of informs the later, the later story, the other two books. You know, you kind of start to see already the break happening between the two generations. Um, uh, without without Seneca being directly rebellious, and uh, um, I thought that's cool, man. This is great. And then I got that great beard, and it was all over. <laughs> <laughs> all I, you know, I I show, always show up to set with facial hair and grown up hair and stuff, so we have options. And my whole career, I've like wanted to use my facial hair because I have a lot um, to dis to distinguish myself between characters, and I never really have done it. And so it was great when I showed up with that, and V was like, I want to do something with that. Let's go get in the chair and play. I'm like, yeah, let's do it. All right. You got, you know, it's V Neal. She's um, I'm well established and, you know, and very, I was very excited to see what she was going to do. And uh, three hours later, we saw that. It was a little more wicked than what we ended up on, but I was all into it. You know, she kept saying, what if I do this and that? Yes, 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 do it. Yeah. Let's see what happens, and we came up with that. And Suzanne is a great writer, and she had a very specific idea of the capital and who these people should be. That you know, it was liberating in the sense that oh, I can just kind of make up anything or his behavior and all of that. There's no described look to him. Well, this is great. But then I thought I need to fit in with her whole mm -hmm. that little that whatever's going on in her brain. I really want to fit in with it, and, and with Gary and whoever else is you know collaborating and. Um, and the fans, I want the fans to to really be interested in Seneca because it's a new, it's cool for fans who read the book because this is a whole new, in a sense, a whole new character, someone they didn't have uh, any any real idea who he was. So this is kind of a, it's a treat. I'm a fan too. I'm not just speaking about me doing this, but it's a, if I was watching the movie and I wasn't casting, it would be a treat for me too to see another side of the books that we didn't get to see before, and that Suzanne is on board with. And we're ready. Three, two. One up.